Okay, let's see what we can do for you here. Look at that. Alright, I'm using an active presenter right now. If it works, then uh, good, I'll stick with it. No, I haven't found one that's been too great. No, uh, that's free. So, I'm going to start off here. This is a presentation a recording to show you how to use Anki. I'm a, a medical student and I like to learn and I like to learn fast and you have to learn a lot. And I've been making this video so that you too can learn fast and a lot of information. And uh, Anki is a great way to do it because of its um, ability with delayed exposure to questions. Here's Anki. Browse real quick. Actually, let me show you how to get it first. You get Anki from their website. Um, let's see here. Let me... And I want to go to the actual. Here we go. Anki SR SRS.net. And you can see here you can download 2.0, which that's the latest version. That's the version you'll want to get because everyone's moving over to that and uh, it makes things a lot faster to, uh, to create cards. More time studying, less time creating cards. Anyways, download the version for your uh, platform here. Also, Anki Droid is great, it's free, and you can find the uh, 2.0 version available. It says here that the Anki Mobile for iPhone isn't out yet, I'm sure it will be soon. Anki Droid, Anki Droid is out, and uh, I'll just go to the page to show you real quick. Um, as you can see, the beta version, or oh, beta 18, very, very stable. I use it all the time. Okay, let's close this. So here's Anki. And it looks really small. Here, I'll make it big again. These are my decks right here. These are. Almost since I started medical school, and that's only been <laughs> two months. Seems like several years, but only two months. The point of this is to use a conditional statement so that a conditional statement would be like, if this, then that. Well, the conditional statement that I use in uh, creating a template for Anki says, if something's in this blank, then make a card for it. So, actually, I'll show you a quick preview of what it's going to end up doing and looking like. Here's your picture with multiple um, labels around it. What is the Bravo structure? See, I can't. Uh, maybe it's the. Uh, I can't remember what this is right now. It's lumbar, lumbosacral. Sacro lumbar, maybe, I don't know, let's see. Sacro tuberous, or sacro tuberous ligament. So I got that wrong, so I'm gonna click again. Excuse me for that picture. Anyways, um, it's enough. As you saw, I had a bunch of stuff on there. It asked me one question. All it asked me was one question about a lot of stuff. What is the Charlie structure? Let's see here, that's the uh, superior hypogastric plexus. And then contains branches from what? No, no, lumbar spank, splanknic nerves. Anyway, so here's your title. This is where I'm going to show you later. Here's the title. Actually, I can show you now how to do this. We'll click add and I'll show you side by side. Okay, well, let me show you how to do this, how to get to add. Part. Okay, so first you have. Thank you open and you're studying you want to make cards select a deck or not you can just click add from here if you like okay and then you want to go up here and select this this is what's important conditionals for medical structures with questions choose now this is what I made there's half there I'll choose decks pelvis and study and all right, so we'll put this over here. Now, so what you do is you take, here's the title. And this title will show up, and you put title here. Title. Uh, come on. Title here. Title here. 
these are this is the picture that goes into the image spot spot there I made this image I do most of my image making on one note as you can see here this is my perineum and post pelvis so these are the pictures I made on one note by basically screenshotting now here's one side by side here okay so this picture I would screenshot this and I'll just do it to show you this thing screenshot copy the clipboard and first I didn't actually while I'm here I'll show you this see I just actually just made a type in alpha and then beta or bravo and then I just move these and line them up with uh, the pictures that I want to use so once again screenshot right here take this go to Anki simple copy and paste Anki put in right here image this is the image that shows on the front of the card paste there you go and then it will end up looking like this guy right here one on the front of the card this is the front of the card right here this is in the editor when I heard this is when I'm making the card title here and the title ends up over here title question the title question will only be displayed if you put the title question if you put something in that field and then as the title question is asked it does not show the title and the title will be displayed as an answer okay that's just, that's just in case you have a title question okay also this reference image this is where you can place an image like this guy right here so that when you're studying you do not have to and say you're curious about one of these letters I mean you're curious about K and um, you don't want to go searching for it well you can look at this this reference image which only shows up on the back of the card once you flip it over and it went and uh, so you don't have to continue to look them up okay here's alpha question spot right here you do not have to put anything in any blank on here except for the title blank okay and it will not generate a card if you only make put something in the title and it only generates cards if you fill in alpha here bravo here charlie any one of these if you put an alpha here it'll make an alpha card if you put a charlie it'll make a charlie card for you if you put in a foxtrot it'll make a foxtrot card okay and then alpha question here this is the secondary question you can see over here on the right so i have what is charlie structure that question is always asked and you do not type it out is always asked so if I put an answer in Charlie right here the front of this card would say what is the Charlie structure contains branches from what that's something I put in here because I want to ask secondary questions sometimes so you don't have to put it in there if you don't put it in there nothing shows up there it just says what is Charlie structure but if you want to you can add a secondary question and that's where the alpha question Bravo question Charlie question all the way down to Zulu as you can see uh, that's where that goes you put that in there, you put your secondary question if you want to ask it. So this one's important. What contains branches from what? More than likely lumbar spine nerves, I think the answer is, and I'll show you. We'll see here and find out in a second. Okay, so you can kind of see, understand how this works. Title, title question, image, reference image, all this stuff here if you want to fill it in. Whatever you want, whatever you don't want, don't work. This is the this is a look at the card. These are the templates. And uh, this has got one through a lot, 27, so that you can not have to make these yourself. Some more, they use HTML, I think you use HTML encoding. It's not that difficult, but it does take time. Here, this is the front preview of the card. This is the front template. Um, this is the styling, which I made a couple styles, as you can see on the other page. There's a couple different uh, fonts that I want to use. Oh, since I'll show you here in a second, and this is the back of the template, and this is pretty long, because what I wanted to do was also, you don't have to put a reference image in there if you don't want. What you can do, is it'll, or it'll automatically display the answers to all the questions, to all the structures on there, on the answer card. That way, again, for reference, if you want to. They're really small, it's in red out of the way you don't focus on it you focus on this answer here but if you get curious oh I just 
Delta, I forgot what it was. There you go. All right. Let's see here. Now let's go to, uh, well, I guess you got it. So, okay. You can edit this stuff though. You can see the font families here. You can see where I edited and put in the particular style, answer style here. Okay. Anyways, let's get out of this. So, I can keep showing you this stuff here. And I guess that's pretty good for this one. You can tell, see what the answer is. What I say, superior hypogastric plexus, lumbar splendid nerves, pretty darn good. So what, this says one day from now, and this these are all change here. Here's one minute, here's one day, here's four days. What I normally do is I click, I show the card, this is for memorization. So I show the card here, the front of it, try to answer it. I, when I first see the card, I don't know the answer, so I click show and I just automatically click show because I've never seen it before I don't know it and then I see I read it I've said it a couple times so it's superior hypogastric plexus lumbar splanking nerves do that a couple times look at the picture and then I click again and then one minute later this card will show up again All right, now now that I've seen it a couple times I know the answer so I click good and this says one day so it's not going to show up for another day the second, okay, this is closed. I'll show you this in here in a second. Actually, I'll show it to you now since this is showing up here. Follow those instructions at the bottom. There's no need to go ahead and automatically click show it 10 days later. Don't do that. Do what it says. It's going to take you a little while to go through the deck the first time. Second time, much faster, but you'll have a couple that you'll click I don't know the answer to, and you'll have to click wrong or whatever that choice is over there. Click good whenever you can. Click easy if you know it and you never need to study it again. I never click easy or I rarely do. Some things I do know I never need to study again but I'll show you this in the close right now. Okay so here this is another option and it automatically comes in and you click on close here choose. Now what you have is text two fields text and extra. Extra I put pictures in extra to show up and it only shows up on the answer side but text here Type in whatever you want. I what I like to do is I take a sentence. So um, the late train is red. Okay. What's important right here? Let's do something better. That's more important. The uh, superior hypogastric plexus is above inferior. Okay. Important information here. Superior hypogastric plexus, inferior hypogastric plexus. For one maximum exposure to hypogastric plexus, doesn't really matter. The point is to learn this. And here's how close works. You highlight something here. Blank. Okay, and then you click on close. And what this does is it creates two brackets, uh, double whatever you call these, or curly brackets on either side of it. This will look like this when the when the card shows up. Okay, I can put multiple ones of these in here, and I'll do two. That way you can see C two and C one. Only one of these will show up at a time because this is the first card, second card, C one, card one, C two, card two. What if I want the blank to show up on both times on the same card? I do this. Both of these will be blank at the same time, which is fine with me because. Because I know superior is above inferior, and then when this card shows up, I'll be able to say superior hypogastric plexus is above inferior hypogastric plexus. Put a little picture of hypogastric plexus right here. Okay? So, here, yeah, let's go back over here. Let me show you what happens when. So, the blank ligament is superior to the uterosacral ligament. And, dear God, I forgot. I just studied this. I'm going to click show answer. Here we go. Cardinal transverse cervical ligament, superior to the uterosacral ligament. This right here shows up what was in here. Okay, so I got this wrong, and I'm gonna click. Even though I was all about to, go, I haven't studied in a while, so here I'm gonna click again because then this will show up in one minute, one day. These these times change. Just do good again. Make sure you follow the rules. It'll make you memorize it. This it'll get to a point. I have a couple cards in here that. They're going to you know, 2.5 months or something. So don't worry about 
seeing it too often and it will show up and don't worry about hitting again if you don't know I mean you only hit again when you don't know it hit good if you do know it and you will take care of the rest and you will end up memorizing here you go you can edit particular cards like I don't want that to hear that here you go you can see in the extra slot then here's up here C1 cardinal transfer cervical limit. and you saw how it showed the blank there all you do is highlight what you want hit these three dots here it makes it close I want them to stay, show on the same card put them on the same card number which is C blank or C1 for this one now if you want a hint to show up in between those brackets that you saw you can do another one and this will be hint right here now watch you'll see it if I typed in hint here C1 double colon this is going to show up on the answer card so we'll see what this looks like see how it says hint there now and then the answer cardinal transverse cervical ligament let me show you again I can type in anything along the lines so first is the card number that shows up on middle is the answer and this is the hint over here so you can actually see it. it's going to show up whatever now I'm going to delete the hint and the hint will be gone as simple as that see now you just have three blanks answer cardinal transverse cervical ligament is correct okay again Anyway, it's uterus uh, stuff I've added in here later. We don't need to see all that. This, I don't want. Close. Close and move in. Currently, yes. Okay. This is the dex. And this is what you, you won't be able to see this man here. What you have to do, this is very important, you need to click options right here like I just did. Make sure you have, you're, you're going to usually use one group. I use a default group new cards per day lots and lots of new cards you're in medical school you're going to get more than the 20 that it thinks that you only need to know per day you're going to get a lot so there you put in a whole lot there don't change any of this other stuff otherwise it'll mess up your learning ability try, try to show sibling cards next to each other that means if I have two blanks on one card for clothes you know or 20 blanks for the structures click that you don't want them to show them next to each other it makes it too easy well that makes it too easy you just don't want to Maximum reviews per day. This is another key one. Lots and lots and lots of reviews. You're in medical school, you need to know a lot, or you're in whatever. You want to be a medic, this is medic stuff. Medics need to use this too. Uh, show answer timer, I like to see that. And right here, ignore answer times longer than I think it starts off with 60 or something. I put it in two minutes because uh, sometimes I need to think about questions. A lot of stuff can be complicated. And I like to show the answer timers and not any anyway, other stuff like that. So, uh, close that preferences up here some stuff show next time uh, show next review time above the answer buttons I just like to know what I'm clicking on and then show remaining card count it's good I like that network lots of backups what else maintenance right here check database I run this once a day just to make sure the database is good I don't even know really what it does I just do it you get an empty card if you make a bunch of closes say like you have c1 c2 c3 you've seen a bunch of those closed cards I just showed you how to do and then you delete one later an empty will show an empty card will be where the c4 was you change c4 to c3 because you didn't you wanted the two answers to be on the same card well empty cards right here well here's one you go so c c1 c2 c3 c3 and I must there must have been a c4 in there but I wanted a deleted one so empty card number four yeah so there was a card four and I no longer have a card four because I moved a three to a, a four to a three. As you can see, I have two threes here. So delete this card. And it's not going to delete my note. The notes are always kept. It's a card. It's deleting the card that was C4. Don't worry about it. It never does anything harm. And you get one card deleted. What else? Okay, import. This is your import decks and export decks. You can just make sure when you're exporting nobody wants your scheduling information they want their own so export your own their information your own uh, do not check this when you export include media always nobody wants to see blank medias select a deck or all decks and then click export okay switching profiles is where you can see multiple profiles of Banky okay I, I, use, I only have one sometimes if you want to have more than one it's, it's good to do that is say you have several subjects um or whatnot and you can ask me how to do this later uh let's see here god good stuff good stuff study deck add-ons i haven't used any add-ons either i don't 
that on YouTube. All right, here's the browser. This is a big deal too. This is my Dex right here, and you can see the browser. You can see I can edit any card in here. I can search right here. So these are Dex, and you can see they're in yellow, and it says suspended right here. It's because these were all on the last exam, and I don't have time to study every single one of these cards all the time, so I suspend the ones from the last exam. Click, highlight a bunch, like so, click, suspend. And then you can do the same thing to unsuspend them. And there's the ureter, right? ureter, however you want to say it. Um, I don't have anything else good to important to share. So here's the perineum, you can see. Oh yeah, muscle cards. Okay, so this is another thing that's kind of kind of cool to be able to do. As you're making cards, let's go to here, go to add. You can also select conditionals for medical muscles and then click choose. Title, title question, image, muscle, origin. You can see here. All questions will be asked for you. All cards will be generated for you if there is an answer in the blank. You put a picture of a muscle here, put a title, generic title for it, and then you put the muscle origin insertion or tool supply innovation action, and then cards will automatically be, automatically be generated separately for each one of these. And it will say, what is the muscle? What is this muscle? What is the origin of this muscle? What is the insertion of this? So it will automatically make these for you, which just makes it easier when you're making lots of cards. Okay. I don't want to make a separate part for muscle origin. It's going to do it automatically for you and ask you the questions. And I'm sure I can find one here for you so I can show you what that looks like. Let's do the perennial. That's not perennial. It's something like that. Let's see. Let's try the public, excuse me. Let's do. Sacral arteries, they're just another display of what it looks like. Where the heck is this? Towards the bottom. Pelvis, female pelvis, either prostate. I have a bunch of these, as you can see. Very formless muscle. Here we go. Title, I put a title in there. Put an image of this muscle in there. Google's great for images. And OneNote's actually great for generating this kind of stuff. Alright, and I'll show you how I use OneNote in another video. So let me finish up here real quick. I'm taking forever. Alright, origin, insertion, arterial supply, innovation, action. Put them on there. Separate card generated for each one of these. You can search through this like you search Google. It's got a couple things you can figure out a little more. These are my tags. I use tags, you don't have to because you can just search bone and every card that has the word bone in it will come up. But I like to tag my stuff just per lecture basis. Alright, well there you go, there you have it. Oh, let me show you how to get how to download these. I uploaded these onto Anki. If you have Anki, go here to the Anki website, hopefully it comes up. Okay, go to Dex. Get shared decks. I shared it with you, and it's going to be this deck here. Medical conditional template. Medical template. Search. All right, nothing came. Let me try medical. Oh dang it! I knew a time would come up. Anyways, I'll 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 put I'll post a link to it in uh, in the bottom here, in the bottom of the video. That's all you need to do. All right. Thank you very much for listening, and uh, good luck in school or in learning. Learning, lifelong learning is important to do. I like to do it.